They really went through a lot to make today happen. They were troopers and 29 days ago, they didn't think they were gonna have a wedding. So they pulled it together, they did a lot of planning and made it happen. And it was beautiful and everybody's loving it. Bob, when I think of you, I, I really can't help but think that I am who I am today because of my brother. And I truly mean that when I say that. You're everything in a brother I could have ever imagined. You truly did teach me how to be a man at a young age. And so I thank you for that. Melissa and Bob, you're two beautiful people. I wish you many years of happiness. What do you think about Bob and Melissa, huh? I don't know about you, but I think July 11th is a lot better than April 25th. They're two really good people with their head on their shoulders, and they're an inspiration of what it means to be in love. They complement each other perfectly and build each other up, but also challenge each other and push each other to grow. You both have accomplished so much already together, and I can't wait to watch you continue to grow as husband and wife and for all the adventures that lie ahead. Hi, Bob. Take you, Melissa, to be my wife. Hi, Melissa. Take you, Bob to be my husband. I will promise to be true to you in good times and bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Today is the 193rd day of 2020, and we get to spend it with all of you guys right here, right now. So this toast is for you. So thank you all for coming tonight. We really appreciate it. And this is Robert McNamara! I'm here with all the best people and I couldn't be more thankful for every single one of you. And I love each one of you. I'm so excited that we're all here. Bob and Melissa, riding an ATV, K-I- S S I N G. First came love, then quarantine. At last it's the wedding, and oh, what a scene. We cherish you both, and this is a fact. So let's all raise a glass for a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Matt.